Jesus Croc. Hmm. That could be fun. Yeah, the Golden Betty pack. So. Yeah. Uh, let me get speaking, that. Speaking of that sort of stuff, uh, Maison Creek. Uh, I found uh Mega Nice. So we do we do truly have uh the highlights of uh. I believe it is Mississippian. Mm. I always get Mississippian and Pennsylvanian confused. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I might have an idea. Ooh. Let uh, me, speaking of that, let me oh just. Oh, no. Grab the... What if it was belly up? <laughs> what if it was belly up? Belly up and about to burst. A feast. Uh, we we summoned Sly instead of Jules. <laughs> Damn it! I mean, it technically That's worked. Damn it. Who oh, no. messed up the Latin? Sly, go away! <laughs> we waiting for Jules. There was Latin involved. I think someone was summoned. Mm. She'll be here. She'll be here. But until then, so. Oh. An aquatic piece with a non-aquatic dinosaur. Yes. It is a lake. A big one. Ooh. Big enough to have large pliosauroids. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, it's a plesiosauroid, I think. Pliosauroid. Oh, it is pliosauroid. I wasn't sure if it was, like, weird little outgroup plesiosaur that was late surviving or something. Okay, this is a sauropod? Return. Yeah, basal macronarian. Okay, I know what to do with this. Ooh. Do really. Yeah, oh. do the soft tissue like those weird birds. Could what? Be funny. What weird birds? Uh bell the one birds. Yeah, oh. bell birds, soft tissue, specifically the the black noodles. Oh. Oh, the snoods? No, it's on the like on the neck. Oh. Um, uh, like a lot of them. I'll I'll repost it in uh, stream material. Oh, do you have the this guy? Oh. Wow. Oh, that's a beer. Oh, and it's so like you're so close to the. Yeah, that you could have them <laughs> floating so upwards. Yeah, exactly. It would be so close to the water's edge that like you would just be like floating on the top of the thing. Like imagine all the little fish attracted to it eating the dead skin off as it would swim across. Uh Joshua? Uh Ceratosuchus mentions that could be water ferns in Jurassic. Apparently the fossils are known since the Triassic. Oh, oh yeah, water, water ferns. ferns. Yeah, water ferns yeah, are true, a thing. True, true, true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, ferns have taken to the water a bunch of times. Yeah, there's get, a lot yeah, of fun groups. I know, group. I know mm. water is actually indexed fossils for the Golden Valley Formation. So the Ooh. ones where the crocs are from, I mentioned. Cool. I mean, if I can get Damn an it, underwater... I can find an underwater image with their root system. Like, that could be cool. Uh, though, do they, uh, do they hang out in these deeper parts, or are they more shallow? No idea. I can't believe we, f I can't believe we forgot about water ferns though. Shame on all of us. Jules would be disappointed. No. Oh yeah. I found a diagram showing, uh, like what they look like underwater. Ooh. Like they're just sort yeah. of like, oh hey, here's mm. this single strand. Yeah, marsiliales. Although some are floating. Like yeah. Isola. Oh, also, I'm hearing some weird buzzing. Uh, Vidax. Oh. Vidax has, uh, has angered someone and is repeatedly being tased. Ow. He had it coming. <laughs> Fuck you. 
Uh, insects reading this paper are from the upper deposits of Mason Creek region of Illinois. And of a lower. Oh! Wait, there's a Carboniferous insect locality in Tennessee? I did not know that. Hmm, I'll have to look and see if I can find the name of that and maybe do a page. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to grab all the pencil or all the Paleodictyopterans. Uh, hmm. Which one of these are Mazon and which one? Of uh, these aren't. Uh, Search your heart. You know which ones. Oh, Neophokia. Oh my goodness, uh, this is so cool. Uh, like the wing preserve, 30 millimeters, but uh, is probably 60 to 70 millimeters in all. Okay, I mean. Makes sense, that's sort of on the smaller end of Paleodic Diopterans, at least mm -hmm. here. But also, behold. Oh, that is great. I fucking love that. Ooh. I fucking love that with the skeleton inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's mm -hmm. cool. I need a, I need a, I need a shit to be happy. Anatomy. We don't need to know. No, no, no. You don't understand. We have to know. Oh. Uh, Yash, there is some color preservation or pattern preservation on these uh, wings. Nice. I don't really know how that works with Mazon, though. But mm. I know that some tetrapods also have colorations. Uh, Ooh. like some... Uh, what is it? Uh, uh... Uh, Philangothontia, I believe, specifically has, uh, patterns known from the head. Hmm. Let me grab that, because it's cool. Also, does somebody have the chart of, like, the, all the weird, funny names for the soft tissues on birds? I've and never heard of this. My knowledge oh. is not really name. Hmm. It's... It's adorable, like waddle and snood and like stuff that we already know, but it's just funny to see it like in a scientific diagram. Uh, yeah. I'll post this in stream to y'all because it's cool. Uh, here are uh, specifically for uh, Phlegathontia. Uh, what is pattern. that? Uh, it is a, I, uh, what are these guys called? Uh... Is there like a wrist, aristopod? Oh, these guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or istopods. Uh, yeah. Uh, legless oh. tetrapodomorphs. Oh. oh, so they went worm mode. Yep. Uh, separate from the time that microsaurs did it, uh, which would have been around at the same time. Oh yippee. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we even have a legless microsaur here. Hmm. Uh, let me check if it is. Just so many worms. Oh, it's also an uh, Aestopod. Mm. Uh, you have pseudo uh, Philegathontia and Philegathontia together. <laughs> One is a lot smaller than the other. Uh, we also have weird basal fish things that... Uh, I. It's just sort of like these are chordates. Uh, oh. uh, look in voice chat text. Like, they're chordates. That is sort of it. Oh. Huh. It's like some weird Cambrian looking thing still hanging around. I mean, it's seemingly just like a little early offshoot. Let me huh. see if it's. Uh. It's a cyclosome, so yeah, pretty much. Uh, not really too specific. Lovely. It's just sort of like... I think that it's a jawless fish. Like mm. a weird small jawless fish. An odd one. Uh, 
We we do also have a lamprey here, if I remember correctly. Oh, that's oh, wait, really no. early. Uh, that's Bear Gulch. This place has hagfish. Okay. Huh. We have a hagfish you know, I would have thought it the other way around. Nope. Hmm. I hate to interrupt the hagfish lamprey talk. I will be going to bed now. Oh, so, okay. have a good night, everyone. Bye. Good night. And if you don't draw crocs, I will haunt you in the nightmares. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Unless. Or is he? Unless. I don't know. I'm sure it... I mean, he's already looking great. I'm sure it's going to turn out wonderful, whatever you do. So, yeah. Have mm. a good night. Good night. Good night. night. Hmm. Uh, Norman's gone? No more crocs. No. I'm going to take this, this opportunity to post one of the most beautiful crocodilian photos I've ever seen. So he can't comment on it. Yeah, Yash, you might want to save this for reference. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's in oh. the timeout space, the timeout pit. In the fl in a Florida spring. What sort of erosion even causes that? Is uh, that like a little sinkhole? Hey, yeah, I think. This might yeah, Florida's be, uh, riddled with sinkholes and limestone yeah. caverns and all, all sorts of little uh, pockets Sinotti underground. The making. Hmm. Uh, what is this group? Uh... Oh, this is a Paleodic Diopteran. Okay. Of course. Uh... Uh... Homolernia uh... CF Debinski or uh, Debesinski. I'm trying to add as many Maison critters as I can into the thread. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just sort of grabbing uh, all of the hmm. uh, Paleodic Diopterans I can so I can just be done with them. I know that there's like a lot here and I might not even be able to get all of them since I just might not have access to them. Yeah. I'm also pretty sure that the uh uh on the electronic insect database might be down. Oh. Uh, which makes things a lot harder. There you go. I found a simplified version of it. So Ooh. apparently the weird the, the weird mm -hmm. nodules on the neck and are called yeah. huh. or runkles. Oh, Edna's back up. Edna's back up. Okay, good, mm -hmm. good. It was just down for a little bit. Uh field search. Uh so yeah, also, any, any, any of those you would like to add? Peruncles, snoods, do lap? I'm not, hmm. I'm not sure if I can see them working on this big of a scale. Uh, what's or at least, me? I guess, being as proportionately noticeable on a turkey as they would be on a sauropod. Fair. Hmm. Hmm. Also, Levi has has a thing of like if if it's easy for like predators to bite, it'll probably not be on a sauropod. True. Yeah. Yeah, fair. Though, though if it's high enough up where they don't need to worry about that. Yeah. Hmm. I would say maybe caruncles on like the the eyebrows or like the nasal region. Yeah. yeah Ooh, you, you, you could do a lot of funky scalation on the nasal region. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Is that horrible tree bark texture on wood stork necks also caruncles, just hardened? Ooh, awesome. that could be Ooh. fun on a sauropod head. Well, that so a stork. A uh, wood that could stork could actually be really quite cool. Wood stork, which yeah. are not true storks as far as I know. They're in their own family. Oh, it, it's worse than tree bark. It's worse than I remembered. It's like it's like an oyster reef. It looks like compacted oysters. 
It looks like oh, an really indie chickens. game. I mean, that could be really cool to show on a Macronarian. Yeah, yeah that, I kind of fuck with that. That would be, like, since you already also have that slope going on in the head. Yeah. yeah. Also, also, I found the amount of uh, insects at Carbondale Formation, which is one of the ones that we would be referring to. Nice. Uh, 197. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's the major, it's the major one. Uh, like this is all from Francis Greek Shale member, which is a good amount of uh Maison stuff. Oh wait, this guy has body fossils. Good. Hmm. Uh, I will also include nymphs because uh. Those are also cool. Also, I forgot. It looks like wood storks have some kind of... I don't know if it's if it's actually keratinized, but it looks like, like a, a really hard cap on the top of their head. Oh. I... It looks keratinized. Like, why you do this? Why you do this? You eat snails and fish. What do you need this for? Uh, imagine a texture like that going on in a tapena cephalid. Oh. Oh, that'd be odd. Like, imagine Struthiocephalus, but that sort of stuff going on at the little projection at the top. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, that could even work uh really well with some of those uh like Burnetomorphs with the uh mm. protrusions on the head that would be headbutting. Yeah. Yeah, true. Mm, I'm. I might mess with that at some point. Hmm. Like doing that sort of texture on there. How many paleodictyopterans are there so far? Twelve so far. I also need to specifically search through uh, arachnids. Because there's a lot of cool ones here. Uh, let me actually add the stuff that you put in the thread. Hey. Although keep in mind, not all of the Ricinia lids that I posted are Maison Creek species. Uh, seems like C is, though. Yeah. Uh, is there a order that they're from? Because I'm, like, doing little, uh, marks uh, where... Uh... I... don't know. Also, there's no scale bar... Like, there's, there's scale bars on that, but no, like, sort of thing saying, oh, scale bars are this. Hmm. Uh, are all of the spiders that you posted uh, from Amazon? Uh, no, the... Um, let me see, which one was it? I know Poliochera punctulata is, as well as, I think, Poliochera glabra. So, like, in the one I posted that's, like, photos of the actual fossils, both of those are. But the diagram of like living reconstructions, it's uh, A, C, maybe Curculoides gigas. I don't know. Uh, this is a. Uh... Okay, it is a Paleodictyopteran that you have. Okay. Uh, hmm. Those little winglets are so tiny, I wasn't sure. I'm actually wondering if it would have any uh, dragon things uh, with uh, winglets still at this time. Huh. Uh, because if I remember right, the basal ones did have those. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe it's just like an early Carboniferous thing that they lost. Hmm. Also, Biage, this is looking absolutely gorgeous. Yes, the Watcher Fern. I first had this in mind, uh, like like with just with algae mats, but now with that we have the the aquatic ferns that might even work better. The ferns. Yeah. I think having the little floating root systems down there, like underwater, would look really nice. To be fair, some. Yeah, and some aquatic ferns don't really have that like noticeable roots, or if they are, they're like millimeter, millimeters long. Oh my gosh, this Paleodictyopteran is like the size of a of like a large mayfly. Of course, of course, they can't all be giants. I mean, most of them are like large dragonfly size. Sure. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, I can search through a uh, field museum database to see uh, if they have like any of these things uh, that I can't find. Uh, yeah, geology collections. Uh, hmm. List. Uh, period. Pennsylvanian. Uh, Uh, oh, they have like 38. Neat. Uh, do I have Turnbella? Oh, I think I have an image of this specimen, actually. Like, uh, drawing mm -hmm. of it. Okay, yep, it is. Ooh, I can put it. Uh, like side by side with it because it does actually have some color preservation. Mm. I can now understand how color preservation uh works with uh these guys. It's like sort of a reddish. Mm. Yeah, I'll just sort of put it next to it but smaller. Like let me post how it uh, sort of looks in uh, these fossils because it's very pretty. Like, Maison Creek fossils are very pretty in general. Oh, wow. And this is really nice color preservation, too. Indeed. Like, I think some of it wouldn't have been there, but oh, you can no. clearly see that sort of uh, border on the end. Mm hmm. Yeah, I meant to do a page on this with Fossil Adder on Wikipedia like a long time ago, but then uh just didn't have the chance. Uh I'm not sure that most of these have images. Uh, Paleopterus isn't a thing anymore. Uh, but I will at least put an image of this fossil just because it's very pretty. Also, this, uh, quote unquote, Paleopterus, uh, will mark. Uh, the 100th taxa. Yep, 
Yeah, let's just do a quick quotation. Ooh, mark. I'm liking the texture work. Yes. Yeah, doing a little bit of woodstock, but also some some other stuff. Yeah. Oh, whoops. You have mail. I... Uh, I'm not sure many of these would have images. I wish I could just sort by the ones that have them. Maybe I can. Uh... Maybe if I search just for Paleo Diopteran in media. Oh, yep, period. Pennsylvanian. There's only 10 available. Whoa, what is. I don't think that that. I have maze on up to up already. I do. Yep, some species too. Oh wow, I'm surprised that this genus name didn't get used before, like, what is this, 2016? Oh, what's the name? Uh, Bizarria. Oh, is that, sounds like a low-hanging fruit? Yeah, it's a Paleodictyopter and larva. I'll post it in voice chat text. It is super weird looking for, uh, for a larva. <laughs> More of that sort of trilobite beetle energy. Yeah. Really makes me think, like, if these guys would have been more terrestrial. Hmm. Speaking of larva, I gotta get Dragon Nympha on here at some point. Because that's a cool taxa. One of my favorite maze on uh, animals. Uh, but yeah, after I get Paleodictyopterans, I'll probably just yeah. go through and get vertebrates out of the way. Uh, you should probably server mute Dynamo so we don't hear his conversation. Wonder why he didn't just mute himself. I think he just forgot to. Too. Uh, 
Uh, I'll just text him and let him know what happened. Uh, just so he knows. George, that's horrible. This is an absolute goober. He's lost in the sauce. Already in the salad. <laughs> uh, Fang, literally, it's because uh, Dynamo forgot to mute uh, when he answered a phone. And uh, you don't want to hear his conversation. He, he should be able to. Have privacy. Uh, Uh, today both three and four are, oh, this is just like the full thing. Videx, I have hit a hundred, uh, things on the size chart. Did you even touch, uh, cephalopods yet? Yeah. Uh, I've got one. At There's... least three. Uh... Oh, I have to go to sleep very soon. Oh boy. You have your, your cool, cool job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, Dynamo's no longer on the phone. Okay. No longer on the phone. Wait, hold, hold on. This is definitely... They definitely mistyped. I am very, very sorry about that. You're For some odd reason, whenever sure. someone calls me, it immediately rings on both the phone and my computer. Why? What? I don't know. I haven't linked them or connected them or anything. That is weird. Holy shit. Okay, yeah. that's 100% 10 centimeters and not uh, 1 mil or 10 millimeters and not, not just one. There was a typo. Hmm. That dragonfly oh, is, is at least 1,000 kilometers long. Beep. This is a very cool dragon. Hmm. It's a little. It's not a captain figure, but. It's a, it's a little basal, uh, Archeo, uh, Optra. Hmm. Oh, Ooh. The basic morphologies of living desert clinal algae. I really like the I, I like the shade of green. It looks really cool. Yeah, that is really cool. It's in a paleo paper, so that's also really fun. Yeah. Let me show the living examples. Wait, I think I, I recognize one of those. Isn't that the one that's like just one cell, but really, really, really big? Which one? 
the disc one on the on the far right. The what the one on the on the right. I mean they're all single cellular organs. Oh. Oh wow. That's the deal with Azaclidals. The 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 like fucking single cellular cellular with like seven thousand nuclei or some bullshit. That's weird. They're part of the UTC clade. <laughs> The beautiful new way to classify organisms. They are like plant adjacent. They are in chlorophyta. Yep. So they are not just like the algae, but like it's a fucking foreign relative or something. It's it actually oh. is. I think I think it is, but I think chlorophyta is. Or am I tweaking? No, chlorophyta is green algae. That includes plants. No, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, streptophyta includes plants. And chlorophyta uh, is, uh, is uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, chlorophyta is uh, adjacent. It's like uh, in, they're in Viridi Plantea. Oh. You got red algae, you got uh, locophytes, then you got like Paracino dermophyta, some bullshit at there. And chlorophyll algae are like that. So it's technically a chlorophyll algae, but it's paraphyletic. True chlorophyta is a group. Green algae, and then like other streptospite algae, those are also type of green, quote unquote, green algae. Those are paraphyletic to plants as of new. If I recall. Oh, listener is now a. It is thankfully not some random bullshit. I was just like. <laughs> okay, the the beauty of archaeoplastida. The random bullshit go. <laughs> My God, fucking foraminifera is more related to. To some other bullshit. What is was it was it like like I know there's I know I don't, don't oh god it's those Streminopolis, those are the bullshit ones. Yellow green algae and shit. Oh yeah, kelp. Kelp is like a fucking forum relative, it's not related directly to other algae, god damn it. <laughs> God. Yeah, like like the the nanoplankton is also in this group, even though it's <gasps> nanoplankton. Mm. They harden on an impact. Yeah, mm. I mean they do. They they build rocks. <laughs> uh. When you think about it, they kind of do. Kind of do. Lights or coccolith force are in that group. Jesus Christ. Uh, do I have help? Dana Nura Thompson? I don't really do. <laughs> They're in a clade called CAM. C A M. AM. Um, uh, which is Archaeoplastida. So that's Glocophytes. Vidi de Plantea. That's Rinaldion. Picozoa, Rhodophyta and Rodelphis, but it's like, that. those are major groups, there's like other shit. Yeah. And then there's Cri Pan Pancryptista, Cryptista, and Coil. Whatever the fuck those are. <laughs> I'm never gonna see that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's like the Cam group, and you have like the Tsar group. Some super group and shit like that. Mm. That's the bleh, bleh. <laughs> That's diaphro diaphro diaphorecticus. Oh my fucking god, I hate that. Sar super group. Captists can provora, whatever the fuck that is. 
همی مست مستی گفو یاکوبیتس Oh, no, there's not a better diagram than this. That sucks. Right. There's Take a good... Way. No, there's an actual body fossil of this taxa, but it's not well illustrated. Oh, Euglena. Your Euglena. Euglena. So there's a, like nothing. They have nothing to do with actual fucking LG. In the relative ways. That is hell. The new classification is hell. LG moment. Just like eukaryote moment. Okay, so... Still still Six... love how like mushrooms and animals are still the closest relatives. In it's the, so the, cool. The, we, truly, we truly are one with the mushrooms. That's why we go along so well, well in, uh, in food. <laughs> Let me actually okay. try how that would look if I would try to. Uh, I'm repeating myself. Um, the root system here. Root no, no, not with system. that. Not with that. Uh, where's the bristle <gasps> brush? There we go. There is a, a group called C R U M S or crumbs. Crumbs. Oh, crumbs. Crumbs. Crumpets? Crumpets. Uh, what are you classified as now? What's a Delanura classified? Huh. No classification for you. Yep. Are you in your classification? Oh, it's a... Uh, uh, Proto. Orthoptera. Okay. Uh... Yeah, with these insect groups, I will uh, try and find uh, taxa that are like not necessarily from Mazon if they have a full body fossil or at least partial body. Uh, the algae look great. E. The ferns. Mm. Yeah, little water ferns of some sort. Some description. Okay, thirty-five millimeter. Indeterminate vascular plants. Yeah. <laughs> Yashua, something nice though about Maison is, uh, there are so many actual body fossils here for insects that uh, there's probably going to be one for at least group. Hmm. Uh, so you won't need to worry as much. I don't want a insect body fossil. <laughs> you won't <laughs> actually. You won't, uh, you won't actually have to uh, have the problem that you did with Matt again of some groups being pretty much only for show on the size chart because we have no idea on how to yeah. uh, show. I need to go to, to Eep, but I'm gonna leave with. Um, with like Euglena and shit like that. There is a relative group called Fornicata. The fuckers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> beautiful. Somebody really liked working on that group, I see. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go to Eve now. Goodbye. Good night. Bye. Good night. <laughs> Hmm. Do you think he'll be adding any sorts of aquatic fauna with this sauropod? I'm I'm just thinking, yeah. Uh We have medium sized hybodonts and lepidotes, I guess. Let me check. Lepidotes. Uh, lepidotes de Shanpuensis. Also, hello Nath. Hi, Nath. Hello. How are you doing? 
Bar. Quickly oh, ask somebody. to message Jakobos. Uh, mm -hmm. I feel like I could put a little bit more contrast into this one. Hmm. Mm. Ooh, I could. Uh, let me try something. Nah, behold. Look at the army. Bugger bugs. Oh my god. There's so much diversity with the size of these guys. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. We don't we wouldn't usually get this sort of stuff. Uh search. How many paley doc? Uh, Dick Doctor. Okay, there's. I got like, uh, I think half of them. All right, one, two. Oh, I have to say, Joshua, it this gives me Paleozoic vibes. Hmm. It looks like fucking Horn the Shringosaurus. Eh, this cop. This composition would really work with A uh, as Dontosaurus. I am currently getting DM'd by Yakovos regarding his review of <laughs> Louis Ray's Extreme Dinosaurs book. Yeah, no, me too. Me too. <laughs> uh, are are they good or bad? <laughs> Let's say mixed bag. There's okay. lots of good, but yeah. also some interesting stuff. Yeah. Wait, yeah. is this an old book? I think no, no, I might have new. read it. New. Oh, it's new. Um, uh. Might have been rushed out a little bit to appear on Tetsukon. Mm. Okay. Uh, Hybodons. What kind of Hybodons do we have? Uh, Hybodus itself, supposedly. Hmm. Okay. Two species. I'm going to take a guess right now and say they're probably both just Eve. As usually is, yeah. Oh, wait. I'm refilling my cup. Back in a sec. All right. Systematic. Uh, Mesotherios. Do I have Mesotherios? I don't think I do. Yeah, Mesotherios is very uh, fragmentary. Uh, yeah, I see the fossil. I mean, it's surprising that it's a body fossil. Uh, it is the largest known of the family. I wish it had a scale bar. Uh, how type Turga? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, 
Uh... God, even with just this, like, part of the of the artwork, it's just beautiful. Like the light shining through the mm -hmm. legs swimming. Uh, uh, nah. Do you know if uh the forty centimeters of the Torgum would include uh the like uh SCX uh and stuff like that, or if it would just the include what? uh Torgum? Giant. What what do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, you know what? Actually, I uh, I don't know shit in invertebrates. Okay. Uh, mm. and back. Uh, uh, specimen cast show yeah. I, I think it's the uh, cook so yeah I I think it's just like the the middle part uh with that being like where the wing would connect uh also being shown what's the TR stand for I assume? Uh Okay, it's the entire thing. Uh be the So I'll just scale it by the the length rather than the width of twenty nine centimeters. Okay, so this thing's big. Okay, okay, this is actually big, big. Awesome. Mm. Probably won't be included, I assume, though, because of how fragmentary it is. I'll put it right next to the smallest one. That's fun. Ooh, the shark's there. Nice. I think I'm uh, going to head off. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Good. See, you. See you all. I just realized its species name is literally enormous. Hmm. Good. Uh, let me post the comparison with the smallest one. Uh, if my scaling is correct. Might have made it slightly too big. Uh, but... Uh, this is the scale comparison. Uh, keep in mind that, uh, this is where one of the wings would connect. Like, one of those small segments. See on the one in front of it. Uh, oh, so big boy. Hey, I think I'm done. Uh, except for maybe making the eye a little bit more noticeable. Oh, Fang wants to be up. What? No. How? How dare? Uh, I mean, yeah, in a moment.
Mm. Also, I wonder how Hybotus or like other sharks would would deal with just a sauropod swimming. Like, would would they do like the the inquisitive bite? I guess. Yeah, I would assume so. Although, I, honestly, I don't think the sauropod would even notice. Fair. 